Hi guys, Songboy13, it's time for the weather forecast for the week ahead. Now, apologies for no forecast last week. Uh, two reasons. Number one, bad internet or some network issues. And also, I wasn't in a great situation last week for personal reasons. Uh, but this week it's definitely up and um, well last week's weather it would have been a uh, well an unsettled start but brightening up and drying up later in the week with some increasing temperatures and a bit similar-ish this week actually um, it's going to be a very sh well particularly the first half of the week very unsettled with plenty of showers around and for a time in southern England unseasonably windy later on in the week not completely dry but fewer showers Temperatures up a little bit, uh, but overall, actually, a fairly average week in a way for Great British summer. And uh, no north east or southern east this week. Generally, mostly, it will be the winds will come in from a westerly direction. So let's go through details as always, day by day. Yesterday, obviously, um, also if you noticed, uh, I've uploaded passing from the storm. We've had loads of storms. North Midlands just dotted my area. It was rumbling on for quite some a good amount of time, but there was a storm just clipping towards uh, northwest Nottingham, and it moved northwards where some lightning activity did increase. So unfortunately, dodged us this time. Um, but so check out the video there. But we never know, we might get similar weather this afternoon. It's quite warm already, 20 degrees Celsius. And this is the story for today. Lots of showers, particularly across central and northern areas into the afternoon. Uh, which they could turn thundery with some lightning and hail in places. Some places may even stay dry all day, but most won't. So it's going to be quite a wet day. And the wind's again quite light. So if you catch a downpour, they're not going to move very quickly. So it could last for quite some time. Temperatures though, actually not doing too bad once again. Uh, Heights of around 18 to 21 degrees Celsius. Not quite as warm as yesterday, but actually close to average for the time of the year. And in the sunshine, it will feel pleasantly warm. But unfortunately, it is also quite humid, which is why we've got loads of showers. Now, this evening, the showers and storms will rumble on into the evening time. I think drying up in southern England for a time, approaching other weather system. So, it might be a dry evening, but a wet evening for northern areas and even past southern Scotland, which we could see some big storms in places into the evening hours. Uh, but they will eventually fizzle out, so they may linger in a few places again in southern Scotland. Temperatures fairly mild, maybe not as mild as last night, lows of around typically 10 to 13 degrees Celsius. Tomorrow's weather, a slightly better day for northern areas. Well, central areas will have the driest of the weather, actually. So, some good smells of sunshine for most of the day. I still can't rule out a few heavy showers, but fewer than today and Saturday. Uh, Scotland, however, and Northern Ireland will see some heavy thundery showers, some big storms in places. Again, the wind's not particularly strong, so not going to move that quickly. And later on Monday, we may get an area of heavy rain, persistent rain, that is, will be across southern and southwest of England. So, but Cornwall will not have a nice end to Monday. Temperatures fairly similar to yesterday, or today actually, 18 to 21 degrees Celsius, uh, fairly typically. Monday night, we'll see some heavy rain will move northwards overnight. It could last for quite a few hours, four to five hours. It could bring about 10 to 15 millimetres of rain in many places. Um, but... Um, at the end of the Tuesday, Monday night to early Tuesday, we'll see some, for a time, unseasonably strong winds across the English channels, across southern England, maybe parts of London. We could see 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. Leaves, well, trees are in full leaf, so obviously that could bring down potentially a couple of them down. So, not particularly what we want to see for the time of the year. So, a very windy start for southern areas on Tuesday. That rain uh, moved northwards, but unfortunately, near to the core of the low pressure, further thundery showers will be breaking out in places. Bit more of a breeze, they're not going to last as long, but uh, obviously it's going to be a fairly unsettled day. And as a result, with the strong winds and plenty of showers, temperatures uh, will be a bit below average for the time of year. Temperatures 17 to 19 degrees Celsius, you'll be very lucky if you even scrape 20. But that should be the coolest day of the week because then by Wednesday, we'll get a bit more of an Atlantic flow, so more westerly, maybe southwesterly breeze. Low pressure still in charge on Wednesday. The air mass fairly humid and unstable, so further thundery showers on Wednesday. Um, they could last for quite some time. The wind's not particularly strong by then, by midweek. Temperatures may be up a degree or two by Wednesday. If you dodge the downpours and get any sunshine, you can see highs between 18 to 21 degrees Celsius for the time of the year. And into Thursday, still a few showers, but pressure beginning to rise, killing off some of the shower activity. So for Thursday, it will be turning a bit more drier. 
Wind's not as strong. There'll be a little bit more sunshine around. And temperatures, as a result, 19 to possibly 22 degrees Celsius for eastern areas by Thursday. Um, but obviously, you've got to dodge downpours, getting your sunshine. You should get these temperatures. And that should be the story for the end of the week. Pressure will be rising. Again, a few showers likely by the end of the week. But if you catch any sunshine, temperatures very pleasant. We might even get well into the low 20s by the end of the week. Maybe even uh, London might even reach 24, maybe even 25 degrees Celsius for one or two of you. So temperatures will be recovering by the end of the week with fewer showers and more drier spells. Now into next weekend, there's a little bit of uncertainty as always. I think the prospects into the next weekend, into the following week, is that... Uh, the weather will be well, fairly typical. I think we will see slightly fewer showers into next weekend following into the uh, further week. But I think there will still be a couple of those around. Scattered and possibly heavy showers for some places. But because pressure fairly high at times, we're not going to see too many of them. So slightly drier week into next week. I can't say we're going to get any spectacularly high temperatures for next week. But at the moment, temperatures around average, low 20s, very pleasant. If you catch any sunshine, this time of year will feel very, very nice. So that's the um, outlook for next week at the moment. And uh, that's it for this week's weather. So um, it's uh, the next few days is about dodging the downpours. You should get a little bit of luck by the end of the week. So that's it for this week's weather. I'll try and get more videos out for you very soon. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, stay safe, like, comment, subscribe. Storm is now out.